What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Filmora Mastery. And today, in a few minutes, we are going to find out how much useful this new color palette feature of Filmora 14 is. And without any further ado, let's get started. Well, this is almost like the color match in Filmora 13. And even the previous version, which is Fumora 12, we had the color match, but this one right now is quite a little more advanced than the color match. This allows you to take from either a video clip or a certain movie scene that you want to replicate the color grading theme. You can just use this feature right here, you know, to match that particular scene for your own project. Well, this is how it works when you have your clip selected in the timeline, like in this way, right here, go to the color tab here and then right here, you're going to find out the AI color palette. All right. So right here, as you can see, I already, when I was testing this feature, I actually put my own preset color palette here, which is this one that you are seeing right here. If it's your first time to open it, you can use this open right here which is the add to actually add your own. So when you select this open right here, you see something like this. So actually, right here, you can move using this playhead, which is over here. You see that if you move it around, it moves you along the timeline of your project that you're working on right now. So you can actually find the frame that you want to copy the color theme. Or else the second option is that you can go to the local file right here and then you can import. It can be a movie scene, just as I've said earlier, or a certain particular thing. Even an image can work. Well, this time around, I've imported a video. Okay. And then now, since it's a video again, that you can move around, you know, the timeline of this video. But if it was an image, there's no way. There's no reason for you to move around the playhead like what I'm doing right now. So what does that mean? Is if you find a frame that you want to copy, you know, then you can select Generate. Preset palette is going to be added over here. And then now, when you are color grading your file, you can just select a palette, like in this way here. Okay? And then you can increase or reduce the strength with this protecting skin tones feature, which is over here. That is going to help to keep the skin tones without much being affected with the palette. Okay? Well, fellow editors, that's the color palette for you. If you've gotten some help, go ahead and subscribe to stay tuned for future excellent episodes. Peace.